This video is about customers that basically have complained about using their laptops and charging their laptops up at night or during the day and shutting the computer off and then basically coming to find that their laptop doesn't have any battery the next day and saying that there's some sort of problem between the actual computer shutting down and actually charging overnight. During all of this, we kind of found a little solution to the problem and it happens to be within power management itself. I'm gonna share the screen of the laptop here that I have as an example, and I'm gonna show the defaults. I'm gonna show the defaults, and I'm also going to show what happens when, what, what happens to default for Windows and why your battery keeps dying. So let's first of all start in the control panel. Let's jump in the control panel. And what we're gonna do is we're just gonna look at the power options. And in power options, there's a section called choose what the power button does. This is the most confusing thing. This is the most confusing thing ever because this doesn't make any sense about why, what that actually means. And the only way we found this was going through a few forums and looking at some other people's answers. And then basically we also compared ours to our current system to see what was going on. And this one option was found in here that has been causing all of this headache. So let's switch back over. And if you click on this, it'll basically show you this lovely menu and this menu of choices that you have. It'll show that this is all grayed out here. This is not the default. This is what I changed it to. The default looks like this. Sleep. Lock. Hibernate sometimes shows up in there. That's what it normally looks like. So when you have all of those on, this is what causes all the problems. The main one that causes all the issues, by the way, to make those changes, you gotta click that little button that will allow you to make the change. It has turn on fast startup recommended. This is the one that kills your battery. This means that your machine doesn't actually shut off when you hit shutdown, it actually goes into like a low power state. This causes a lot of problems because if you're, let's say you shut your computer down, you have a more higher end computer. This, this computer is like a, a mix between like a medium size to a fast computer, but it has a decent battery life because it has a very, um, inexpensive processor in it. So it doesn't require a lot of power. It's very power efficient, but if you have a very high-end computer where it's using a lot of power, it's using a lot of you know power consumption, this will actually kill your battery within an hour. You know, because it's the, because the machine pretty much doesn't shut off. So this will shut this entire thing off completely the way it normally is supposed to be. I uncheck all of these because I just don't use them very often. Um, I sometimes use Hibernate, but I won't use the button on the on the shutdown. I do have sleep enabled for when I close the lid, which is a mistake. This is supposed to be on Hibernate. And plugged in also Hibernate. Uh, the reason why I like Hibernate a little bit better is because when I'm using Hibernate, it uh, actually saves you on a lot of battery because it actually puts the whole computer into it. It writes everything from like your RAM into your actual hard drive. So at that time, it basically saves your state and then closes the machine and shuts off the power. So I'm gonna change these to hibernate and then hit save. And after you hit save, it will now be adjusted so that when you hit shutdown on your computer, it actually shuts the computer fully down instead of just doing kind of a, a half powered out shutdown. So at this point, we're just gonna close this and we're just going to do a shutdown. And if you look in here, all the options I've got are shut down and restart. Um, if you wanna add back the hibernate, you can add, add back hibernate. I don't recommend the sleep mode. The sleep mode, I've had a lot of problems with the sleep mode because when you go to sleep mode, sometimes the system doesn't come out of sleep very easily and you may end up with a little few more problems. I'm gonna turn back on hibernate so we can show hibernate in the power button. Uh, this will also turn on, turn it off, turn it on in the power menu here. So it'll pop up over here when I hit okay. So save that. 
You can choose the options you want, but you definitely want to turn off the one for, uh, for power. So there you go, you got hibernate, shut down, restart. I'm gonna just do a shutdown right now, but just to give you guys an example, this was a quick, it's just a quick tutorial on how to do this because I've had a few customers actually complain about this and I think this video might help some other people that have bought brand new laptops and the default settings are kind of crappy. So, you know, I would recommend, um, you know, just make sure that uh, you turn this option off, you'll end up a lot happier for it. And, uh, you know, you'll have battery tomorrow when you go to charge it and use it. Now there's also another S3 sleep mode. And S3 sleep mode is a little different. You could also put your computer into S3, well, they, I think they disabled it on Windows 10. But you could also still put your computer into regular sleep. But if you do put it into sleep, instead of hibernate, you'll also have some problems where like the battery will start to consume. Um, and you'll actually still use up some of that battery. Hibernate is the best option if you want to have the most amount of battery available to you the next time you turn the computer on. Uh, the only issue with Hibernate is that some applications may force the computer not to go into Hibernate, and then your computer may still remain on. That's a bad situation, but it might be something you may want to, that's the reason why you may want to turn on Hibernate in the button bar, so at least you can click on the power button and then hit Hibernate and allow it to actually go through Hibernation instead of forcing it when you go to close the, you know, close the lid, where if you close the lid, you may not even see that there was an error or something might have happened. So um, hopefully this helps somebody and hopefully that you'll get the maximum battery life out of your entire laptop uh, and not have to worry about if it's going to be charged or working tomorrow. All right, till we see you in the next one, uh, get subscribed, stay subscribed. We have a lot more videos going on, a lot more tutorials coming up, as well as some more product reviews. So please stay subscribed. Hit the notification bell if you want to be notified right away, but you know, just a regular subscription. You guys can see us when, uh, when we pop up in there. Till the next one, see ya.